All right, all right, all right then. Hello everybody, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it as always. I just want to say at the top of the video, the Line 6 Podgo people who, um, I know I, I gained quite a few subscribers from my Podgo videos. Uh, I do plan on making more videos. I'll do, I'll try and make one soon uh, and release that with like a free preset or something like that. I need to dig the Podgo back out because I've been loving my uh, Fractal Audio FM9 which is what today's video is going to be. I just thought I'd make a kind of a quick video just going through some sounds that I've been really enjoying. And uh, yeah, so we shall do that. I've made a few changes and in my opinion, this is the best sounds I've ever had. I've been using digital for 20 years now, uh, going, going way back. So yeah, I've used a lot of these modelers and to me, in my opinion, these are the best tones that I have ever gotten. So let's start. Um, we've got a, a little bit to go through here. I've got the foot cam ready to rock and roll. I normally start with a clean sound, but I've been really enjoying my distortion rhythm patch, uh, crunch patch, whatever you want to call it. It's based on the air. Uh, it's based on the GMP-1. I think I made a video of it um, a little while ago. It's based on that. So this is how it sounds, uh, I think it sounds really good. <laughs> So that's how it sounds straight off the bat. Now uh, we can go into the effects. You can see on the foot cam, if I hit this effects button here, it takes me into all the effects that I have available on these switches. So I've got a drive pedal here. If I want to add in more drive, not that I need to on this uh, scene. I've got a chorus, I've got a flanger, I've got a tremolo, and that's pretty much it. I've got delay. Uh, and I've got a filter which basically kicks in the 2 dB increase if I should need it. Um, so yeah, the drive pedal is, if we go to the FM9 edit, if I kick that in, click on that, it is the super overdrive, there are my settings. So you will hear more gain, which is always a good thing if you like gain. So here is without and I'll kick it in. <laughs> Sounds stupendous. As you notice, I've turned the delay off just to let you hear it uh, straight up without any delay. Speaking of the delay, I can kick the delay back in and if I hold the delay button, you can might be able to see it. I hope, I hope this picks it up. See if I can change the uh, exposure here so maybe it might kick it in. If I hold that down, hopefully you can see it's switching between two channels, channel A and channel B. Now, um, channel A is just my straight up uh, delay setting. Just your typical delay. I'll show you what delay I've got going on. Um, it's a digital stereo at 500 milliseconds um, in parallel mode. Now, again, if I hold it down, it goes to a, a preset or channel B, it ups, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, it ups it to 600 milliseconds uh, we're still on digital stereo. Uh, it just turns the the level up. Uh, it sounds like this. A uh, lot of delay.
Yeah, and that also turns up the feedback a lot, so you get a lot more repeats. Uh, I will switch that back to uh, channel A on the delay. So uh, yeah, that's the delay. So I have the chorus here, and just like the delay pedal, uh, I've got it set to when I hold it, it switches between uh, two channels. One, channel A, as you can see there, it switches between the channels, if hope hopefully you can see that. Channel A is a very subtle chorus effect. <laughs> Hopefully you can tell that, like I say, it's very subtle. Now if we hold it in, go to uh, channel B, and this is a more pronounced effect. So that is the chorus, uh, next effect is the flanger, uh, I've literally just changed this today, I ha did have a pitch block in here but I fancied a change, so I've put a flanger in there and the flanger is the, the analogue mono, so yeah, uh, what have, I ch have I changed anything on here, I don't believe I have, I think I've just changed the auto depth to medium, uh, it sounds like this. <laughs> That is the flanger, quite subtle, I didn't want, I didn't want it too overpowering. Uh, the next effect is, I've got a tremolo um, block on here. Now again, like the delay, uh, it's got two channels, but when I switch between these channels, the second channel is a harmonic uh, tremolo. So the first one is a, a, just a, a straight up tremolo, sounds like this. <laughs> Straight up tremolo, when I hold it, it'll go to the harmonic trim, sounds like this. So that is the tremolo and harmonic tremolo. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. And that is pretty much it. Don't need to do the filter block, that just kicks in a 2D boost. Uh, we've done the drive. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the uh, the distortion side of things. Just a straight up Marshall GMP1 sound. <laughs> Also, if I go back to the scenes by hitting that button, as you can see there on scene three, I've got, it says high gain, which basically is like the rhythm patch, but when I kick that in, it just automatically kicks in uh, the drive pedal there, as you can see. And the drive pedal I have on this scene is the shimmer drive, and there are my settings, just in case I wanna, you know, go from a clean scene to, you know, a scene with more, more gain kind of thing. Uh, just keep that. So that's basically without drive, and that's with drive, with the shimmer drive in there. Yeah, it sounds like this a lot again.
So yeah, one thing I like about uh, this Marshall sound is, you know, it, even though I've got so much gain on there, it's still really clear, um, it's still balanced, it's still uh, a nice balance. So, so the next scene I've got is the more scene, and all that is is basically the high gain scene with that second uh, delay um, in there. So yeah, that's all that is. Just more delay really and a little bit louder, just in case uh, I want, I need that. And the solo uh, scene is basically it's exactly what it says, it's just louder. I've taken the filter off so it doesn't mess with the levels too much. But it's just louder, more delay. <laughs> So yeah, now that is basically it for the high gain side of things. Switching to the clean side of things, I've just today switched back to the Marshall JTM45. I was using the, the uh, JC120, which is great, loved it. I've switched back to the Marshall JTM45. I just think that's just the best um, clean sound you can get really. There you go, just a nice straight up clean sound. Let's have a look um, again in the effects. Again, just like the high gain, I've got uh, I've got all them to choose from. So if I want chorus, just keep the chorus. <laughs> Right, um, I've got a drive pedal on here. What is the drive pedal I've got on the clean? It is the uh, the Clone Chiron, which is the Clone Centaur, with a, quite a bit of uh, drive on there to get a little bit gainy. <laughs> So yeah, lovely drive sound there, um, and it's a bit noisy because it just is, that's just the way things are. Um, again, you keep the flanger in if you want some flange. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, that's the flanger. Again, the tremolo, if you want the tremolo and the clean sound, you can have it. All right, so yeah, that is the clean sound, just the straight up Marshall JTM45. If I click um, this end button here, again, I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can, it's here, scenes more. So if I want more scenes, click on that, and a couple more scenes appear, three more, but I actually don't use this scene, I just use these two. Uh, this one is just a country scene, it activates the um, uh, double verb normal, which is a Fender Twin. And uh, I've got like a slapback delay on here at 130 milliseconds. It sounds like this. So yeah, just um, it's also got a spring reverb as well. I can show you the spring reverb settings. Yeah, large spring at uh, just over a second. So yeah, that's how that sounds. All right. So the last scene um, is I've called it ambience. It is based on a Fender Super Reverb. It sounds like this. Um, yeah, and as you can probably see, I've got a few things going on here. So I've got this reverb, this Whitehall reverb. Um, and I've got the multi delay turned on, the Aurora delay. Um, I think this is just straight up stock. I just literally loaded it in and uh, went with that. I've got the compression on as I do with all clean sounds at the end of the chain rather than the beginning. I just think that's like a little secret sauce to make things sound uh, a little bit better with the studio compressor. Um, yeah, now on this one, uh, I have as hopefully again, you can see my foot with my sexy socks on. Um, is controlling the Fractal EV1. Now, when I turn it down, it'll kick on the uh, Ursa Major, right there. Um, and it sounds like this, it sounds really nice. So yeah, that's like a nice um, shimmer effect there, just for some ambient stuff if you should want it. All right, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Just really enjoying this uh, preset, you know, uh, based on a J JMP1, a JTM45, and a few, a uh, couple of Fender amps. So again, really, really enjoying it. I just thought I'd make a, a video demonstrating it. 
All right, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. If you did get this far, see you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.